Welcome back to the interview, Cable 84's weekly segment on job interview skills. While it used to be you could interview for a job simply by answering some questions, in today's ultra-competitive job market, companies are measuring candidates' qualifications in new and unconventional ways. Here to talk about this is Mark Hernandez, a consultant who previously supervised hiring tests for a large tech firm here. Welcome, Mark. Thank you, Susan. You know, when I was in the business world, we would hire people based on how well they interviewed and fit in with the company. That was certainly our plan, too, except that we would also ask candidates to tackle some problem-solving challenges. When we started out, we would give people some problems on paper to solve. But in the last decade, we found it more helpful to observe them in action. What kind of paces would you put them through? Let's take a look. At my former company, we would put each candidate in a room that was completely empty, except for a cork board, a table, a candle, a book of matches, and a box of thumbtacks. And what was the task? We'd give each person five minutes, and we'd tell them they needed to attach the candle to the cork board on the wall and light it so that it wouldn't drip on the table below. This is Monica. And she knew that with enough thumbtack, she could tack the candle to the wall. Except that she's not having much luck. What does this tell you about her? Well, she's persistent. Sticking with her first idea and spending nearly the entire five minutes trying to make it work. Persistence can be a good thing. Except for the fact that she's got the wrong idea. Her lack of success seems to make her more frustrated. Exactly. She got pretty stressed and was unable to think about the problem in other, more productive ways. Now, let's watch David, who after starting the same way, realized in 30 seconds that it wouldn't work. In contrast to Monica, he's looking for other perspectives, which is a good problem-solving strategy. He tried several other approaches. Except that it's not working for him, either. Looks like he's trying to melt wax to stick the candle to the wall? Obviously, it's not working. And even if it did, it didn't keep the candle from dripping on the table. So, what is the solution? Well, what would you do? I don't know. But here's an idea. What about tacking the matchbook to the wall and the candle to the matchbook? Good guess. If I were you, I might try interviewing for a tech job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Ashley does. See how playful she was in contrast to David and Monica? Studies have shown that humor is a really important part of problem solving. And Ashley seemed able to preserve her sense of humor through the process, while David and Monica were overly frustrated and let that keep them from solving the problem. And unlike Monica or David, who could only see the box as a box, Ashley saw the box as a platform. <laughs> ¶¶ 
She was literally able to think outside the box. Yes. So what's the takeaway for our viewers who may be asked to solve problems in a job interview or at work for that matter? One, try many approaches. Don't get set on making your first idea work. Two, it's more helpful to have a playful attitude than to be frustrated. And three, try to look at things from another perspective. That's all for today on The Interview. Stay in touch, everyone.